When the man said, this is sublime, he appeared to be making a remark about the waterfall. Actually, he was not making a remark about the waterfall, but a remark about his own feelings. Sun's coming up, I got cakes all on the griddle. Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. Thank God I'm a country boy. Blessings, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another Chilcotin Sunrise with your friendly neighborhood Chilibu. I am live in the frosty Chilcotin this morning. It is a crisp minus 10. Middle of April, eh? All right. It's a Monday. First round of chores out of the way. Time to uh, work on some other things. Let you guys enjoy this sunrise. I'll catch you later. Enjoy this episode, eh? We're going to take a walk in the woods. Chicolton bike lane style. All right. What you were saying is really, I have feelings associated in my mind with the word sublime. Or shortly, I have sublime feelings. Here are a good many deep questions settled in a pretty summary fashion. But the authors are not yet finished. They add, this confusion is continually present in language as we use it. We appear to be saying something very important about something. And actually, we're only saying something about our own feelings. Just in the thick of it, up on the back ridge line behind the property. We've been up here a number of times. There's a bit of a trail coming through. A little trail marker. My better half, how's it going? The pack has gone that way, following her trail to uh, her stunts at the bottom of the ridge line. Started off a little overcast today, but uh, so the sun's trying to come out again. Probably in the mid teens. We are heading this way <laughs> because uh, this is going to be part of a uh, sort of a cross country run that comes from the ridge line up there. So this trail comes up and goes through here and goes here, comes to an element at the bottom of the ridge line. We go up the ridge line, you know, four or five hundred feet, and go that way, and then it winds through, and you come to another element. And then you go another K or so through, and you end up at the P road back there. So, gang's all here. Shall we continue? Lead the way, baby. I like Bella's line better. Huh? I like Bella's line better there. Well, I've got both flagged off. Because I've got to look at it when I come down. The right. Tree. These guys are uh, panting pretty hard already, eh? Yeah, that's okay. I like that line better too because then it gives you this. Yes. That's just kind of a shorter cut if you want more speed. I think they're looking for a drink already. <laughs> it's right there on that tree. I was thinking that was more of a natural flow. And then he went into this little dip here and I thought, okay. Job, everybody. All right, let's go, honey. <laughs> I'm all right. I got my bottle, thanks. <laughs> I the bottle, all right, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. We're gonna find some uh, trail marking tape. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Something <laughs> about uh, the speeders. <laughs> Your hat's covering the speeders. Yeah, I know. So we're just uh, marking out. No, I'm good. 
I've got some uh, essential oil on, some mint and some uh, lavender. Okay, I need to mark pretty quickly. Okay, uh, we'll do this tree, okay. do a nice tail on it. And then we're gonna head this way. Okay. Straight up here. Cause this is, uh, this will be easy to take out. That, that, and the stuff on the ground. So we'll give this guy one. I'll do it here so yeah, we're gonna go like I said. We're just gonna basically go straight, maybe at a bit of an angle to the right. Okay, so we're not going. Look at the there. size of that fucker, eh? Yeah. He's a big one. I was just thinking of that way, but I'm trying to go to the P road. Oh, okay. And I'm also looking at the uh, the, the route, the uh, least amount of clearing. Like, look at this run here. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Like literally, see where that tree's laying on the hill? Yeah. Comes straight through here. And that's how come she brought me. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a nice run. Watch yourself, Sativa. Sausage roll. She got that nickname uh, when she was much younger because she was chunking up really nicely. And it was carried over. But, uh, yeah, she's... And leaning out along with the Dubmeister just because. And take a look at this big tree. Not this one, this one. Oh, I think Sativa's got something over there. Hey, Bella. Continue that way. See you guys in a bit. So we've came up over that ridge line as you saw a little while ago, and we've been making our way through here, the cleanest routes. And lo and behold, off in the distance, we see this. And then once you know, right over there is another one. So I think someone's been here before. <laughs> Look, there's another one right there. Come through here. I see a bunch of them. Huh. Good during hunting season. Now I'll we've obviously where does that go? You can see a trail there. Those are our, that's our tape down there because that's new. No, I know. I'm talking about there's a trail yeah. right here you can see. But what I'm not seeing right is a continuation of that. Like I don't see it anywhere here in the trees. And all I see is these two. Now, is there another one that way? I'll take a look. Trail marker tape is best left huh. around eye level. This isn't, uh, no, yeah, but the, it's odd that there would just be two random in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. All right, we'll catch up with you folks later. We're going to find some trail marker tape. So we're about uh, an hour and a half in, and it's a little bit of a clearing here as we continue to go up and up and up, heading in a northern direction, uh, huffing and puffing, bit of a workout walking around, but uh, I thought I'd throw the camera on because you can see some of these uh, old logs, they're all burnt, evidently once upon a time, wildfire visited this area. Hey dudes. So yeah, got a beautiful line. Let's zoom in here. If 
fat tree. There it is. Nice one that goes down there, goes down, kicks around, goes around, zigzags through, goes down, drops, and goes that way, as you saw from previous clips. All right, onward and upward. And there's the road. And there's Dick's Meadow. Nice little hike. And off in the distance. Punchy Lake. Still frozen. Yeah, lots of wildfire damage in this area. Time to head home, have some brunch, another 3k walk to get home. All right. And the last ribbon goes there. And what were you just telling me about that? I was just saying it's a good thing I brought you because it lines straight up with my trail there. Oh, I can see that ribbon waving in the that wind. That goes down to the meadow. And that's part of your cross country trail? That's my downhill trail. Oh, that gets your downhill that goes down, drops in, and goes into Dick's Meadow. Yep, yeah, and then from there, hook up with the Punchy Lake trails. Cool. All right, let's head home. We're back on a trail. This is uh, the original mountain bike trail that was started many years ago. We're going to uh, walk back to get to the property, and along the way, we're going to go by some of the elements that Mrs. Chilibu has built. I will put this on a bit of a time lapse and try to keep it from being as herky jerky as it is. All right, enjoy. Coming up to uh, one of her elements that she built that has a tree down on it. An easy, uh, easy remedy. Just chainsaw that bad boy out. Secondary little jump here for those that don't want to ride that. Then you got a little uh, kick at the bottom, or you can just roll it off. Even on their own view, on an inconceivable view, man who says this is sublime cannot mean I have sublime feelings. Even if it were granted that such qualities as sublimity. And then after you've joyfully come through the woods there and you hit this ridge line, which is the ridge line you see behind our property. You zoom down here and down there, you see the beginnings. Actually, that's about halfway through the ramp because you can't see it all from this angle. We're simply and solely projected into things from our own emotions, yet the emotions which prompt projection are the correlatives. And therefore, almost the opposite. For whatever reason, it appears to be steeper when you're standing here than when you're looking at it. I guess that gives you perspective as I go around Anyway, onwards. Qualities projected. 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 So there's another line where you can just go like this and bypass the jumps. And you can see the little berm that's built in right there. It goes around the corner there. Or you can get jammy. Come down here. Oh, I've been up. I've been up and I've shown it on video many times. I'm getting hungry though. Yeah, me too. 
So what's the plans there? The ramp is going to extend to where that log is. I just got to cut the rest. Oh, so you're not doing takeoff from there anymore. You're going to sort of ride it down and then just sort of off and then yes. land about 20 feet yeah, down there. Yeah, because that ground is too flat to land from there. Gotcha. It'll be too hard of a landing. So it needs to be a little more sloped. So. Firstly, that all sentences containing a predicative value are statements about the emotional state of the speaker. And secondly, that all such statements are unimportant.